if at night there's no shooting, people were asking why there was no shooting tonight. We have been grown in that culture for the last 40 years. Imprisonment, torture, chemical attack, kidnapping, disappearance, massacre. There is no Iraqi family having had one member or more or one neighbor or one of their kids, son, father, parents have not been passed through one of those traumatic events. Because we know that torture and trauma affects individual, their families and the whole community. Usually torture survivors they are experiencing psychosocial symptoms, so they have domestic violence and they become abusive. But family members should understand that these are the negative coping mechanisms they are experiencing. Basically we are providing holistic approach, client center approach. Take one member of a society, torture him or her, send him back to the society. It's as if you torture all the society. That's why we say it's important to, to rehabilitate. It's important to rehabilitate even old torture survivor. The attention to, to mental health. I think it's in, in the human rights field. I think it's one of the, the, the most neglected areas. That's why it's important that to realize that even those have been tortured some years ago, still the effect is, is ongoing. Supporting those victims, even after decays, still needed. Something like, for example, when, when somebody was arrested, um, that it wasn't so much the arrest, but it was the, 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 the look on their children's faces. Correct. Um, you, you, this is kind of the things that, 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 that stay with them. The, the, the mental healing and, and how do you get back, how do you... you know. Fighting among each other, using weapons, these are all uh, reactions and symptoms and impacts of torture. This reaction, if not dealt with in a proper way, it might become, among them, become an extremist. That's why they are thinking about the revenge. Uh, I would say even uh, uh, rehabilitation by itself, it's rehabilitation, and as a, at the same time, it's uh, uh, having impact on prevention. So when you... The UN understand it's a long process, and the impact might, might come in a long period. What you do on the ground is the nearest, one of the nearest points of the human rights mechanisms to reality. We are getting training from experts and we are continuously delivering our, our training to others. Is this a challenge or a benefit for the, for the, for the exchange of experiences? Of well, actually, it's, 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 both. it's both. It's a challenge because you have to develop or to adapt to the specific context, which is usually not easy. And it's a benefit. To have a support from UN, it reassures the beneficiaries that our center is not affiliated with any parties or with state. They might have been tortured by by state, and that center make uh, beneficiaries to to be assured that they are going to a safe place. We should even encourage other people to work in the same field, to train them, to mentor them, and for them to provide support to their community. Our first client, he came one day at the end of the therapy, and he said, I was about to drown. You were like boat and take me from the sea to, to the safe place. We feel that our work is, is worth. Our work is never end.